<laughs> Hi, I'm Josie Altador, striker for AZ, and welcome to Alkmaar. I got a complete old city here, you know? The bells, the, the cafe scene, I think, I like it. It's comfortable, it's fun, it's peaceful, and I think it's a perfect place if you want to focus at something. I think it's a, it's a pretty ideal place to come and, and do that. We're in the center of Alkmaar right now, taking a little tour. It's a beautiful day, beautiful spring day. And uh, yeah, this is where I, uh, I spend most of my time. The center here, you got a lot of coffee shops and restaurants, stuff like that. So I come here a lot to just have a coffee, chill, relax, kick back, basically. So that's my type of lifestyle, me. I'm from the Caribbean, so I like to relax and take it easy. So people here, they do that a lot. They hang out, you know, kick back, enjoy the nice weather. So it suits me. I don't blame them. Coming here in Spain definitely, definitely changed my outlook on coffee. I definitely think it's a helpful tool. Not too much, but every once in a while, it's not bad to have, for sure. I've been a cheese lover since I came to Holland and a soup lover because I didn't appreciate these things before. That's just kind of, uh, you know, the difference of me being in this culture and kind of embracing it, so it's cool. It's the place to get cheese. You come to Alkmaar, you want cheese, come here. It's the place, right? Yeah. It's the cheapest, the rice. Not the cheapest, man. <laughs> no, 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 the cheapest, not the cheapest. It's the quality, man. It's the quality, man. Good cheese. Here. Good player? No, I think well. Good man, I like it. There's a cheese market in the center of Alkmaar. Happens every Friday. It's very historical, has a lot of history, and uh, as you can see, people from everywhere around the world come to see it. So, it's a pretty big deal. This market starting in, the, we, we didn't know exactly, but we think in 1593. So more than 400 years ago starting uh, this market. And it's growing to the greatest market of the world. And this time, there are on this place 29,000 kilo of cheese. I think it's pretty impressive. I mean, it has a lot of history. Uh, as you can see, you know, throughout Europe, it's very famous and, uh, you know, it has a big draw every, every Friday. So I think it's pretty impressive that even though it's been so long, that still a lot of people remember its history and what it's all about. And as you can see, it's still going strong. You know, I'm lucky to be so young and I've lived in a lot of places and the best thing is to try to embrace those cultures and take a little bit from them and uh, use them down the road. A lot of tiny cars because there's not much space to get through in between ways and yeah, but it's, it's part of the culture, man. It's part of being here and I, I enjoy it. It's cool. You gotta be a good driver and that I am, so it's cool. Uh, like five minutes away from my house because I live in the center of the city and it makes everything so much easier because the training ground is right next to the stadium so I mean you kind of just roll out of bed and hop in the shower, eat breakfast and you're, you know you, you drive five minutes and you're at training so it's easy for me, easy transition and especially when you come to a new club you want to make everything as easy as smooth as possible. For me it couldn't be any easier with the stadium so close. He's, he's strong, uh, he's a good technique, he can score goals. He can also good, uh, he's a good listener, so it, it makes him a, a player who, who is uh, well to coach. It's uh, quite different uh, the way we play football than in the national team or, or, or used to in, in, in Spain. And, but I think he's getting feel better and better in, in, in comfort than, than, than in the beginning of the season. I guess in the beginning there was uh, something there where they said, you know, uh, because of my American roots, that's why you bring Josie in. Uh, I don't look at it that way. Uh, it's not my decision. It's a decision of the club. Uh, I have an important role in that, but scouting and everything has, has a say-so, and everybody was 100% uh, uh, confident that, that Josie would be a good fit here at AZ. So. Ernie was, was kind of influential in the sense because I didn't know much about the club. I didn't know much about the city, obviously. Being, it's, it's a very small city, but yeah, I met with Ernie during the Gold Cup when I, when I had just pulled my hamstring in. I think that kind of uh, helped me sway my decision because I got to see him, who's a big part of the club, face to face, talk to him, and kind of get insight on what I would expect here. And so I kind of went off that and, and, and I had other interests, but for Ernie to do that, to go out of that way, it kind of helped me, helped me make my decision a little bit easier. I thought it would be important for his career that you know he'd, he'd be somewhere, uh, settle down, 
and make sure he makes the next step, you know, in, in development. And um, at a young age, you, you know, you, you, sometimes you choose for things that um, where it would be better to develop first. And uh, um, right now, you know, that's what the first thing we spoke about. Um, that's something that he wanted to do. Uh, we explained to him what it is to play in uh, in Holland uh, and in particularly for Azad Alkmaar, the way we go about. Uh, practicing the way we go about soccer and in the end uh, both parties had a good feeling about you know what we wanted to do over here with with Josie and uh, we're happy he's here. You know as a young player you always look for some balance and some uh, some consistency and I found that here and uh, I think it's been good for me not only for my, my playing wise but as a person as well I feel like I'm growing as a person each each month as each month goes by and I think that's important and looking at the bigger picture.